my friends out there. This is Elizabeth. Welcome back to Live, Craft, and Love. Um, I am going to give a project share on the entire teacher kit series that I went ahead and I have done. All these four items do have each their own tutorial and I'll link them down below. Uh, so that way if you missed it, you can go ahead and backtrack and see those videos as well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go through each one of these and uh, run through and just share the project again in case you did miss the series. So this entire thing is a set. That was the whole purpose of my um, tutorials is to make this as a set. This could be a very um, wonderful gift for a teacher or even a student if you have a, you know, a child who's going to school, college, whatnot. This is something really neat and crafty that you can give them as a gift or maybe as a teacher appreciation gift. It, either way, back to school, all that works. And all these are very versatile. You can, you know, a uh, teacher can use it, a student can use it, even somebody in the office can use it. So uh, let me go ahead and get started with the items that I went ahead and made. The first item I'm going to start off with is this double notepad, um, double mini notepad holder. It has a ribbon closure. And as you can see, the front cover kind of overlaps the, the other part of the cover. It doesn't completely overlap. And I did that just to give it a little bit more of a, a dimension and a division here. I did went ahead and I um, put the sticker. I backed it up on black cardstock and I add some dim dimensional foam tape on the back. The spines do have three inch um, red cardstock, solid cardstock that I did get at Country Craft Creations. Uh, now, by the way, since I didn't mention it, all four of these items were design team project, my very first design team project for Country Craft Creations. Um, and Tammy went ahead and sent me this beautiful paper line, which is called Back to School by Echo Park. Um, so I went ahead and this, this, the entire thing is my project together. Now I'm um, going back to the notepad holder. This back um, cover is covered with the beautiful design paper with alphabet and this one is with green polka dots. When you open it up you see that there is a pocket on here so I kind of made into like a little mini folio I guess. There's a little tag that you can you know insert here or whatever the teacher might or the student might need to put away that is small sticky notes whatnot in there. Here's the other part of the back um, again the beautiful lettered um, uh, pattern paper and these two mini notepad holders. Uh, this comes in a pack from the Dollar Tree. And the pack looks like this. You actually get five of these little mini notepad holders in a pack for one dollar. So all this needs is just two. And the beautiful thing about this is that there are pockets so you can actually, when you finish the mini notepad, you can actually, oops, I kind of tore mine. You can actually, um, um, replace them. So then the pocket itself was covered in red uh, red cardstock just like that and all it does is it folds in this way. There you go and that's the first project. The part two of my tutorial was this a beautiful altered composition book. Now this is something that teachers do use quite often especially when it comes to meetings for planning whatnot. Um, so I did double mat the entire book um, where I actually put pattern paper. There's black cardstock in the back that I did get. It's the Recollections cardstock, 110 pound. And then I also used the red cardstock that Tammy provided for me. And then, of course, the embellishments are the um, ephemera pack and also stickers that I went ahead and matted on black cardstock as well to give it a little pop. This beautiful cursive lettered um, pattern paper in the back along with this little apple that I also backed up. The entire composition book does have a ribbon closure so this red beautiful seam binding um, Tammy also sent me from Country Craft Creations. Um, this is, thing is wrapped completely around the notebook so it will not fall off and when you open it up first thing you see is a pocket. Uh, this is a sticker from the sticker sheet that I backed up on black cardstock. I did use solid um, cardstock um, that was provided for me by Tammy um, as the back and the only thing that has a pattern paper is the actual pocket. Uh, so here we have this beautiful pattern paper that came along with the collection and the, once you turn to the first section this again backed up into the beautiful red cardstock that she provided for me. Here is a sticker. I went ahead and made a tab using my one and a half inch paper punch and a one inch scallop punch as well. And here's the other side. Now the left side is what has the pocket. Um, beautiful design paper right here. 
and here is another sticker backed up on black cardstock and the other side of the tab. Now I divided my notebook into three sections because I do teach fifth grade and my um, my class is self-contained so I teach all subjects but main, the main subjects that we focus on are reading, math, and science. Now we do do social studies but that's a separate journal that I might that I have. So I, I went ahead and I divided into three sections because I have you know reading, math, and then science, whatever, whichever, whichever order. Um, I just did th that was my preference. Now can you just add only one tab? Sure. Um, and the tutorial will show you exactly how I made these pages. Then when you open it up, here's the next tab again red beautiful cardstock two stickers from the design uh, from the sticker sheet here's another tab i did kind of like stagger these two uh, tabs so that way it's easier for me to see when you turn the page again this is a coordinated cardstock pack that tammy did provide with me and i absolutely loved it and here's a pocket all pockets were matted with red cardstock first and then with pattern paper so this page is very much sturdy so if in any case once you fill up this journal now it would be up to you you can easily tear this page off and keep this you know for some other purpose or you just keep it intact whichever here's another sticker that i backed up on cardstock and oh i had torn that one out um here is the back side of the composition book and here is the back pocket again bat matted it on red cardstock and here is a pattern paper um and here is another sticker from the sticker sheet matted with black cardstock i apologize for my voice if it's a little raspy um all day long i've been at um, my daughter's first volleyball tournament she's a seventh grader and I played volleyball for seven years myself, so I was going crazy nuts, you know, yelling and cheering her on. So if my voice cracks, you know why. Um, it just, it's a little raspy. But this is part two of my teacher um, survival kit series. If you're interested in, whoops, if you're interested in watching the video, um, I do, I will have it linked down below. Um, and let's move on to project number three. This is project number three. This is one of my favorite, um, I think this is the favorite part of the entire kit. This is a teacher planner TN travels notebook. Um, I did uh, laminate the front cover. It is laminated, so you, in my tutorial it does, I do state that you need a laminator if you want to do this completely the exact same way I did. Now you don't have to, you can easily just leave the cardstock as it is, um, but I used it just for a little bit more durability. I do have a double closure on top and on bottom, and the reason for that is I don't have a big bite. Um, that would have been so much easier for me to just have the big bite and, you know, have the hole right here in the middle straight across but because I put this piece of ephemera on the cover it actually worked perfectly so it doesn't get covered up um, but normally if you would like to have it in the middle you would just need that uh, we are memory keepers uh, big bite I did add some charms to my elastic this is an apple button charm and this one is just a little swirly looking charm and it, it says imagine I don't know if you can see it very well and then here is a little bookworm that I you know put up on a ring and this little charm says dream so I don't know if you can see it very well dream so I did put these charms for a little added, added embellishment when you open it up first thing you see is a little pocket right here I laminated some of the ephemera pieces just so that way they could be a little bit more durable these two are tags that came in the ephemera pack this little clear pocket is from the target dollar spot um, they come in a pack of 20, I believe, and this is what, you know, the single sheet looks like. So I use that both in the front and the back. This is a sticker that says, I love my teacher. Um, I did mention that if uh, I would suggest for you not to add anything to your front cover, just leave the uh, pattern paper as is, because if you notice, mine's bubbling around the edges of the ephemera that I did glue on before I laminated it. And I should have thought about that earlier, but... I, I don't know, I just wanted it to be more embellished, I guess. But I would suggest you not do this so that way you prevent this from happening and you have a clean finish. Um, here is a paper clip that I've made. This is another one of the buttons that I had or that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And all I did is I glued it onto Black's cardstock that I punched with a, a one inch scallop punch and I added it onto the paper clip. This is a first insert and this is a plain paper insert. For sketching, for notes, whatnot, and I did mention that I used uh, a drawing paper or um, 
sketchbook paper just because it's a little thicker than regular printer paper but you can always just use printer paper no problem and this is a beautiful pattern paper that I got from the collection uh, here is another paper clip that I also use just one from one of the buttons from the button pack now this is a second insert now this insert is in this is the entire teacher planner and this planner is the one that I got from the Dollar Tree this is the exact planner that I use now if you want to do it the exact same measurements that I have this is a planner that you need to get it has to say student planner 2018 2019 if it says monthly planner or weekly planner the sizes are going to vary and you're gonna to have to figure out the measurements so all I did is I removed the planner from its little cover and I wrapped the design paper around it so my tutorial goes into a little bit more detail as to how that happened or how I did that um, but I, overall, it came out really pretty. I love this designer paper that I that I used to create it. It's so pretty. Um, so yeah, that's the second tan, the second insert. Third insert is a little folder that I made. Now I did say that I got the idea from Tamika. I got the idea for the folder from Tamika, from Scrap the World. Beautiful little uh, folder, and I did use some of the pieces from the cut aparts or the border strip page from the collection to make these adorable little bookmarks. And for now, I'm just start inserting them in here. But once I start using the planner, um, I'm going to be marking wherever I am in the planner. Let's say, for example, we're September what, 8th today. So my little bookmark would be here. That way, I know exactly where I need to go. And the last insert is a little graph paper notebook. And this came in handy. I actually got the inspiration for this TN from a TN that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I'll try and find it so that way I can show it to you guys. Um, but all I did is I cut out the dimensions of the paper itself. And I used this pattern paper and stapled it to make a little notebook. I did use a 2 millimeter, I believe it was a 2 millimeter thick elastic that I ordered off of Amazon. I'll try and link it down below. This is the entire roll that I got and it was like $8, so it's so worth it. You can make so many of these uh, TNs with this one roll. Um, and the back cover, again, has that little pocket from um, uh, the dollar spot. I also laminated some more pieces of the ephemera and I added a little bust backed up on two cardstock there. So like as you can see, uh, the lamination is kind of bubbling there. So that's the reason why I say don't put anything on your cover guys unless you want that to happen. And that's pretty much for my third project. Let me just go ahead and put these paper clips forever for now. There we go. And it closes just like so. It's a perfect size for a purse. For a teacher bag or whatnot, for a backpack, a book bag, um, and since it's laminated, it should last very well. It should be very, very durable. So this is project number three, and the last project is my sticky note holder. Um, very, very simple. It's just like kind of a little mini flip, a, a little opening book. Uh, I went ahead and I covered or not covered but I put the this beautiful checkered seam binding that Tammy sent me all around the book and I did you know um, adhere this sticker that I double matted in the front and the back I adhered it right on top of the seam binding to enforce the seam binding a little bit better since I did put it above the um, pattern paper instead of below, right under it so whenever I do do this it's because I want the ribbon or the seam binding to show, but I, I do put something over it just to make sure that it's sturdy enough. Uh, so yeah, this is a beautiful design paper with all these vintage looking backpacks. Uh, red polka dot spine and the same paper in the back. When you open it up, this is a little file pocket that I created with the green pattern paper. Beautiful ruler paper in the back and a class X sticker along with the uh, star sticker. I did ink all of the edges of this one in black soot, uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink, which I'm pretty sure you can find some of the Distress 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 ink oh my gosh at uh, Tammy store with country craft creations and in this beautiful green plaid um, pattern paper I think uh, complemented the green polka dot quite well and I went ahead and I inserted this sticky notepad now this sticky notepad is from the Dollar Tree as well <clears throat> and it's the jot brand just like this 
Now this is the measurements for this book are for this sticky note itself. So if you want to follow the tutorial, make sure you pick up this from the Dollar Tree. Um, if not, you're going to have to mess around with the measurements a little bit. But the basic concept would be there. And that is it, guys. And it also closes with the seam binding. That concludes my teacher kit survival kit series. Again, this does not have to be just for teachers. It could be for students, for a coworker in the office, or whatnot. The idea is just because it's back to school time, it's already the second week of September. I've already been at work for two whole weeks with my students, and I'm telling you, I am ready to use these four things with when it comes to school and my planning. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorials. Again, I'm gonna link them down below. So if you're interested, go ahead and follow, uh, click on the link so that way it takes you to the tutorials. If you enjoyed this video and the teacher series, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that way you can get notified of any videos that I do post. I am gonna let you know the majority of the videos that I post will be during the weekend because of the fact that I do teach and I do plan throughout the week. Sometimes I don't have enough time in the day to upload videos during the week. So the majority of my videos do get uploaded on Saturday and Sunday, maybe Monday if I didn't get a chance to do it. Um, but I do try and post at least three, four videos every week for you guys. Some might not be tutorials and a lot of them will. I'm very excited to, since I'm waiting for my September DT package to arrive. I'm like very, very excited to see what type of paper Tammy sent me and all the goodies that she's going to send along my way. Um, but for now, this is my first DT project for Country Craft Creations. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. As always, guys, live live passionately, craft as often as you can, and love endlessly. We'll see you all next time. Big hugs. Bye.